Good morning guys, it's Friday, Friday, Friday. Oh God, do you remember that Rebecca Black song? Won't let this moment pass us Friday, gotta get down on Friday. Oh my, don't get me started, that's dreadful. Although I didn't get to bed until quite late last night, I got to sleep pretty much straight away. You know, sometimes when you go to bed and you kind of, you lie down, you just cannot sleep. You cannot sleep whatsoever. And it's a frustration. Um, but last night, I took my, what was it called? Sleepies or something like that? Nightall. I took my Nightall and I was fine. It was good. But getting up this morning was a bit of a pain because I still didn't get my full eight hours sleep. I need at least eight hours. I didn't get it. So I'm a bit tired. At least I got up the right side at nine o'clock today. God help me if I ever have a kid. I think I'll be able to cope. There's a coffee company in the UK called Pact. They sell freshly roasted coffee. You can get it either ground or in beans or whatever, and they send it weekly, monthly, whatever you want to your house. Recently they started bringing out coffee pods for Nespresso. I'll show you one of them. One of these. And um, so the Nespresso machine, you just put this as coffee in there. So you put it in your machine, press the button, instant espresso. And Nespresso, the brand, I've got really good selection of coffee. Each pod is maybe about 30 pence. But Nespresso have brought theirs out at a premium. I think it works out about 37 pence a coffee pod, which is quite a lot in comparison um, to the branded counterpart. But there was a deal on where you could get it about 20 something pence for the first batch, it was about a third off. So I thought I'd give it a try and I got 40. Here we go. Quite frankly, I'm extremely disappointed. I really like the coffee normally. Uh, the one I get is beans, I grind myself. But look, the coffee pod doesn't even work properly. It broke in the machine. The two that I managed to get working, they're really tight to the point where I'm concerned it's gonna break the machine and almost jam in. Um, it takes forever to, for the coffee to come out because I think it's just so tightly packed with really fine ground coffee that the water struggles to get through it. It's nowhere near as good as Nespresso's coffee in my opinion and nowhere near as good as the fresher ground coffee that they, they normally sell that I can, you know, do with as I please. So, I wouldn't recommend it for their pods. If you want Nespresso pods, just buy the original ones. You have to just buy them from Nespresso. They're the, cheap, they're, they're the cheapest or as cheap as you can get anywhere else for the most part and there's a good selection, they taste better. It's stupid to try and outsource it, just don't do it. Sorry Pact, it's a bit of a thumbs down from me on this one. Got a sudden craving for waffles, you know, nice fluffy waffles with maple syrup. Yeah. Um, but Jen says she doesn't want them because she's on a no shop bought baked goods diet. That's a what? It's Lent, I gave it up like two days ago. But I really fancy some. So I thought, how about we make our own but we don't have a waffle iron. So I said, let's go and see if we can buy a waffle iron. But Jen goes, we'll, we'll get one delivered tomorrow or something. But I want waffles now! And you, well, <sighs> You can have waffles now. You can go buy waffles in the shop. She won't let me eat them. I won't eat them. I can't eat them. I'm not giving up after two days. Okay. Then, then I want waffles! I told the coffee company about the problems I was having with their new coffee pods for the Nespresso machine. They apologised, they said that there's a few teething problems essentially, and they're going to give me a refund for the coffee pods that I purchased and credit my account with uh, essentially a bag's worth of coffee. And I very much appreciated of that. You know, things happen, and they said they'd email me when they've got things sorted um, for the next batch or whatever, but can't really say any fairer than that. A refund and credit as an apology. So thank you Pact, thank you very much. I just came to get the waffles out of the bag to show you guys what I got. And she stashed some of those in. I did not know she was buying these. Kit Kat Chunky with peanut butter. Now if you like chocolate and you like peanut butter, this is the thing for you. What's that beeping? Waffles, yes, yeah, so we decided not to go down there trying to buy waffle iron while we're out and just get some waffles but Jen isn't allowed any, they're all for me and I got some maple syrup to go on top oh I can't wait I'm gonna have one or two now and then I'm gonna take the dog free W-A-L-K nope I think he's learned to spell Shep, do you wanna go for a walk? we're gonna go for a walk this way 
come on. This way. This way. He's just telling Chris about this really awesome job I had. Oh, wait, we stopped. Shep, sit. Good boy. So I was just telling Chris about this really awesome job I had at work today. I have a... I don't know if you guys know what I do, that's probably why I should start. Um, I'm an architect and I spend most of my day designing houses or extensions to GP surgeries. Um, we do a combination of medical work and residential work. So we do everything from housing estates down to individual houses. And I have got a really exciting housing project at the moment that is one very posh house um, that is like my dream job. We were given a green bit of land and told to build a house, which is amazing and such a great opportunity. But today I was working on this project and I had to do the weirdest thing I have ever had to design so far. I had to design a rabbit hutch. <laughs> when I signed up for starting to design properties, for being an architect, I did not ever imagine I would have to design a rabbit hutch. And this is like the flashiest hutch ever. It's amazing. I did, hey. It's fantastic. It's like people can walk into it without bending over. It's nice and easy to clean. It's got power. It's got water supply. It's got lighting. It's got double glazing. It's got glazing. It's amazing. I want to live there. <laughs> it's so cool. And it goes like blends with the rest of the house. It, uses all the same materials, it's really, really cool. That was my day. I didn't spend all day in the rabbit hutch though. <laughs> Luckily, that would have been one expensive rabbit hutch. On the subject of rabbits, while I was talking to my client about them today, I learned about German giant rabbits. Now, I don't know if you guys know anything about rabbits. If you don't, Google that ears, now. They have ears to do this and they go hop, hop, hop. Yes, that is what rabbits do. Right, if you guys don't know what a German giant rabbit is, Google it now, I'll give you three, two, one. You searched? Do you know what it is? You oh, you have to look. It's amazing. They are ginormous. Like, I've seen big rabbits before. I've seen fat rabbits before. But these are the biggest, fattest rabbits you have ever seen. But when you Google it, like the third image that comes up, it's bigger than a collie. It's huge. And then there's another one, Chris with a little girl who looks like she's maybe about six holding the rabbit and she's got hold of the rabbit here and like its front legs like up here and then its bottom legs are on the floor <laughs> it's huge what about the one with chihuahua oh uh, yeah and there was another one where there's this giant german rabbit and a little ditty chihuahua riding it <laughs> who knew rabbits came so big i'm not sure how well it shows on here but that shrimp is looking an awful lot bigger than it was when we got it I got some caramel waffles, but Jen says you're not allowed them, so I got me some caramel waffles. I don't know if you guys have ever seen this, but they're they're kind of like you know um, ice cream cone waffle type things, two layers, and then in the middle there's a thin layer of caramel. And the idea is you put them on top of a hot drink, and then it, it warms it up gently and softens it so it's all gooey, and they taste amazing. Very sweet, almost cinnamoniness to them, but so so tasty. Hey, it's in focus now. There you go. Have you guys had them before? If you've tried them, leave a comment down below and tell me what you thought of them. So once your tea's brewed, or coffee or whatever you want, you need to get your waffles, if you have any left. Luckily I have a couple, but that's not always the case. And then, you need to very carefully, depending on how big your cup is, place it, come on, and focus, come on. Can't do two hands. And place it on the top and let it warm up. Now you have to be very careful not to leave it too long because as it warms up it'll start sagging and it will, I promise, end up in your drink. It's happened to me before, not once, not twice, but many, many times. So be careful, keep an eye on it. Oh, yeah, and don't knock it in yourself. I think this is going to be the first time I'm going to be in bed. By midnight, Jen. By midnight. Woo. First time this year? <laughs> no, first time in the past week or two. Ah. Right, first time in bed by midnight, which I'm quite looking forward to having a decent night's sleep. Um, and the plan is, if I can get up early enough tomorrow, is we're gonna go out for breakfast. Is that still a plan? Yeah, definitely. But How I do- How early is early enough? What time is it open? Tonight. Yeah. But if I get up early enough, we're gonna, we'll probably work out a time in a second. Um, but breakfast, it'd be a nice treat. We've not done it in a long time. 
No, I like it at breakfast. It's really special. It's nice. Yes. So, we're off to bed. So, good night, guys. We will see you tomorrow. Maybe, hopefully, possibly for breakfast. Woo. See ya. Hey, guys. Happy Thursday. I'm here. Jen's here. It's also very late, as you can tell by the, 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 the black sky. <laughs> if it was black... Not if there's an eclipse. It's not this black when there's an eclipse.